it's the golden sound twice so it's time for another teenage mutant ninja turtle review of sibling dynamics and i think last time i said we were going to talk about donatello and michelangelo and um you know this is just gonna be a really quick video because i feel like these videos exist already and i don't know how much i can offer to it with the 2003 series um you know like Mikey and Donnie, they get along really well with each other. They're kind of more the chiller dynamic when you really think about it. Besides, like, <laughs> besides the fact that, like, okay, the ch most chillest dynamic is Leonardo and Donatello. They are so chill, and they would get things done so well that the writers couldn't have that. They were like, oh, man, the episode would be done in, like, two to five minutes. We can't do that. We They don't have enough conflict. So that's... That's the chillest, like, bro dynamic. Second chillest bro dynamic would be Donatello and Michelangelo. And for me, I feel it's because that they have a lot of similar personality traits um, in certain aspects. Like, uh, like, quite honestly, Mikey is really intelligent when he wants to be. He stores away a whole bunch of information and it is over a vast topics. Like it could be like pop culture. It could be some sort of random portal alternate dimension thing that he heard or read somewhere while doing something else, but he remembers it or Donatello will mention something and Mikey's like, ah, yes, I recall when you talked about that. Um, and then Donatello, Donnie, he is a nerd, he's a dork, he's a geek, and like he can get together with Mikey and they can kind of nerd and geek out over similar things. Um, or, you know, Mikey can kind of help him relax a little bit, kind of goof off. Um, a lot of times whenever Donnie is goofing off, like doing fun things, Mikey's usually the instigator or the person that irritated him enough to like make him leave his workstation to go do that. Um, they also huddle together when Raph and Leo are fighting with each other and it's because out of all the turtles, Mikey and Donatello, when it comes to having like like fam like fight fights like when because Mikey we all know he loves pranking people he loves to annoy people he loves getting attention whether it's positive or negative but when it comes to actual conflict like really tense family situations he and Donnie will go off and they're just like nope we don't we don't want to we do not want this conflict to happen and Leo and Raph who end up in the 2003 series having that conflict a lot will be doing their thing and then Mikey and Donnie are off somewhere else um and they also enjoy snacking together they enjoy um I think really they're kind of they just have a lot of fun goofing off with each other Donnie will make something for Mikey Mikey will attempt cooking for Donnie um I personally like to think that Mikey would show up at like ungodly hours of the night Cause he's probably been binge watching stuff on the internet and he'll like bring Donnie coffee. That's an absolute head cannon and I think it's adorable. But, um, so yeah, I think that they're just kind of like, like they're able to be very chill, but also kind of be goofball around each other. I think one of my favorite Donatello and Michelangelo interactions with each other was season I believe it was season two, and it was when it no, mm -hmm, yes, no, maybe so. Hmm. If it wasn't the beginning of season two, it was at least towards the end of season one, where uh, the Foot Clan was like checking out the sewers, and so then Turtles and Papa Splinter had to uh, go crash April's apartment and be like, "Yo, we need witness protection. Can you help?" And April's like, "I've adopted." Four mutant turtles in one night and uh what was her line she was like how did I go from uh happily single to mother of four overnight and Splinter's like bro same do you want to sit and I have stories I need to vent um which I will talk about April and and Splinter's interactions because I think it's absolutely ad adorable those two are great together they get together and they're like let's talk about our you know like 
adopted sons or, or more of like Splinter's like the single father and he leaves April like the older wiser more mature sister in charge of all of them and then they like they get together like she's gone away to college she's graduated and they get together and they're like these children though like what is with them but um but no back to you so away from my tangent one of my favorite moments between um between uh Leo or <laughs> between Daddy and Mikey I'm tired I'm on two hours of sleep I worked an eight hour shift don't judge me or you can judge me but I'd rather you did um but one of my favorite moments between the two is that I think Something was going on, um, like, Leo and Raph were doing their own things. I think that was when Leo had left and he was running the rooftops, and I think Raph was, like, pacing around in the apartment, and Donnie and Mikey are sitting, and they were talking, kind of joking back and forth, and, um they the little stinkers had ordered like this huge buffet of food and april was just like can i get you anything else my lords and she was like who did this and they just both pointed at each other and they're like he did it so i think that's just this great amount of chill between the two of them and i think they get along really well and it's fun to watch their goofier antics because they both like i feel like both of them can either calm the other one down immensely or amp the other one up immensely like they just play off of each other really well and it's a fun dynamic to watch um and that's why they're so enjoyable and that's why the writers uh wrote them a lot i feel is because they were able to easily just kind of banter back and forth and it was fun and enjoyable so those are my quick thoughts on uh the sibling dynamics between uh donnie and mikey and i'm noticing that i'm kind of sniffling a little bit or maybe that's just my opinion but if i get a cold i will well i won't launch myself out a window because a that's rather high up b i would be forced to like go out into the cold elements and that's really what i don't want to do so anyway that made no sense i hope you enjoyed this video we'll talk again soon bye